This is part three to circle, square, triangle. In this part, we're going to create the assembly file to create this part that we see here. So going back to Onshape, we can see we made our triangle, square, and cylinder in the previous sessions. And if we look at the bottom now, we can click on assembly. I'm going to click on insert and grab my first part, which is going to be that cylinder. I'm going to click over here and then left click here to place that part. I'm going to hit the green check mark to close out the insert menu. And the first thing I want to do is right click on this cylinder and fix that part. Now what fixing does is it pins it to our canvas. So we have this three dimensional environment that we are setting the rules for in our assembly file. And the first thing we're going to do is just make the first part the center of what we're building by fixing it. What you're going to notice is now I cannot grab that part because it is fixed. I'm going to come back to insert and grab my square part. I'm going to place that square part in my environment and then click on the green check mark. Now there's many ways that we can set our geometric rules. We could do a fasten mate, or we could do a planar mate. Uh, the planar mate, we would have to set rules both on the X, Y, and Z axis to lock this part in place. But the fasten mate allows us to join it at two points. So being the easier of the two, I'm going to click on my fastened mate. I'm going to select the center top of this cube. We can see that happens here in the menu. I'm going to rotate so I can find the center top of this cylinder. So I've now, by hitting that green check mark, I've now said that is the rule I want in place. I'm going to close out of this, and you can see those points are now joined. The, the circle or cylinder was placed and fixed, but we've now set a geometric rule that this square or cube is fastened to this cylinder at that point and it will no longer move. I'm going to click my insert and grab my triangle part. Placing that triangle in my field, I'm going to green check mark it. And again, I'm going to use that same fasten mate, even though I could do planar mates. Uh, I'm going to choose the middle center of my triangle as my point. We can see that added to my fastening over here. And I'm going to rotate and find the middle top of my uh, equilateral triangle hole, clicking. And then I'm going to solve or hit my green check mark. And now I've recreated this part, all of it joined together according to our isometric and orthographic drawings.